Hi, I'm Tim. Most people know us as pilots who like to try things, and most people on YouTube say, what are you doing? You're stupid. Why are you trying that kind of stuff? But we have experience taking what well, we try, our experiments, to an airfield, and everybody there is like, wow, that's cool. Keep doing that. That's awesome. So, we have another idea. On the floor is an A-10 that I have flown a couple times, and now it's in pieces. We've stripped out all the electronics, the motors, the receiver, the, the electronic speed controls, the battery, all that stuff. The idea is to take the electric motors and mount it on the underside of these wings and put it onto this Tower Trainer 40, basically making a hybrid aircraft, gas and electric. Let's just see what it does. Basically, where's the radio? This switch will control the electric motors. This switch will control the throttle on the airplane. So when the switch is down, the throttle range will be from 0 to 50% on the electric motors. The switch goes up, your range now goes from 50 to 100% on the throttle. So they'll both work together. So it should be taxi, take off, fly, glide. We'll see what it does. Alright, I have figured out the electronic control system for the engine slash electric motor hybrid. So we have our six channel receiver. Yeah, we're using five channels. The throttle is channel three, and uh, this switch, the throttle is three, this switch is five. So, channels three and five. Uh -huh, let me explain what it does. Channel 3, which is the straight throttle, goes into a, a Y splitter. One side of the Y goes directly to this high tech servo right here. The other side of the Y goes into this mixing module. <laughs> and uh, let's see, channel 5 and channel 3 from the splitter go into the mixing module so that I can mix those two channels, the switch and the throttle. That mixer goes to a splitter, which will go into the two speed controls, which we're representing by this one servo. The angle of the servo represents the throttle of the electric motor. The angle of this servo represents the throttle of the gas motor. So, demonstrate. With the switch in the down position, this at 0%, this at 0%. Throttle up engine RPM to full, electric motors go to half. Throttle back down. Electric motors to 50%, engine up to full, both are at full. Okay, it's a little bit later. We have the replacement rudder servo installed, the new, uh, five channel radio system and we have one prototype ducted fan motor built you can see in there and we've got the brushless leads coming off the side and the motor it will mount probably about there on this wing of one on the other side the other motor is completed, and both motors have been attached to the wings and connected inside, and the whole system works, so there's not much left to do except test it, but not tonight, tomorrow. Anything to say? Let's wait for the battery. It's finally built, and now we're ready to do a systems test, a taxi test, and see if it actually taxis under its own electric power instead of its own nitro power. So, engine's not running, it's got a little cap on it, so you know the engine won't be running while we're out. Prop also be stationary. Not cheating. So anyway, all these little plugs now, of all these wires from the wings to the fuselage, and they run one aileron servo, two LEDs, or two, oh, LEDs. two LED sets, and that's off the aileron servo. 
and then the Dean's plug goes to the speed controls, which come on their signal, which come in to these, which is this wire, which goes to this computer mixer. Basically, the radio doesn't have onboard mixing, so you have this mixer here, which runs into the receiver channels 3 and 5 to your throttle and throttle. your... Landing gear switch. And your landing gear switch, which will is now put these into overdrive, yeah. low speed and low speed high and speed. high speed for the electrics. So you gotta plug all that in, and then plug the Dean's plug to the lipo battery in the plane. So you do all that, then put it on, then secure it, and we're good to go. Okay. Radio on. Radio on. Down, down, down. That's how it should be. Throttle down. Trim down. Airplane on. Now lights are on. Uh, these will be clicking. Why? The onboard battery does not have enough power to power them. What's clicking? The motors. Oh, the motors are clicking. Because the onboard battery for the actual airplane electrics. Oh, it's trying to. Sing. Aren't strong enough to initiate them. Ah, uh, so they're going. Ding. They need the dean. So ding. ding. All right. Now I gotta get all this in and hopefully out of the way of servos. All right, it's outside. All right, outside. Taxi test number one. Low speed EDFs. <laughs> Cool. And high speed. That was low speed. High speed. It gives it some extra power. It's extra power. It moves. I don't think it'll fly under just electric. No. Or it won't take off. It's got slow acceleration. Yeah. That is cool. A nitro plane with electrics. Electric EDFs. No, that's redundant. Electric EDFs. They're electric, electric ducted fans. Electric DFs. It's pretty cool. Yep. It works. Engine. That sounds pretty cool. Did it feel like it had more thrust? The engine sounds weird. I know. Whoa! Into the grass. That's got a lot of power. And that was even on the low, the low setting. Yep. Dang, that thing is probably gonna go faster, like when you're actually flying. Oh, boom! That's gonna be fast. Yeah. 